Hi everyone, welcome back to JPWHU TV. It's nice to see you. I hope you're keeping well and having a good start to your week and a great end to your week as well for that matter. This is Friday lunchtime. Um, guys, you know sometimes how some things can be a blessing in disguise? Well, it's generally the case for me at the moment because I unfortunately, uh, Wednesday last week, I lost my job. So I've, this is one of the reasons why I've been doing so, so much content for you. But at the same point, the blessing in disguise is that um, I've been able to keep you guys completely up to date with everything that's been going on. All right, slightly s slower than other people have been doing, but this is more of a factual based channel than basically just talking about everything that leaks. But as it stands at the moment, Jean Claire. T uh, Todibo and Tim Steiden are flying back from France today as we speak to, to go through his medical with a potential loan move. So let's talk about the 24-year-old centre-back. But before we go into that, guys, as always, this video is sponsored by the channel sponsor, 3retro.com. Please click the link in the description below that will take you directly through to the West Ham section of their website where you can purchase some really nice retro gear along with track jackets, polo shirts, sweatshirts and t-shirts made by Admiral and Umbro, so go check those out. Any purchases you make through the link in the description below, the commission that the channel would normally be getting, as I always say, I'll be sending on to the charity Iron Support food banks they're based in the newham area and they're helping those in the newham area and the essex county and further afield for that matter as they're currently supporting over 70 and probably close to if not over 80 food banks by the time of this recording so guys go grab yourself a really nice retro shirt you'll be saving yourself a few quid in comparison to the club shop and you'll be helping those that are less fortunate than you and i but if you want to make a donation directly to the um to the charity but don't want to make a purchase through the affiliate link that's perfectly fine um Barmies, please do click their Just Giving link that's in in the description above the affiliate link. One pound, two pound, five pound, whatever you can afford. Believe me, guys, every single penny helps. But I do implore you to um to make a purchase through the website if you can. Um, especially bearing in mind that the Palo de Canio Home and Away kits are back in stock, and we've only had six pound fifties worth of commission since January to send over to the channel to over to the charity so please if you want to get yourself there is a bargain there's a few sales going on at the minute so barmies please do uh, go and make your purchase there but let's talk about Todibo. Uh, it looks like we've agreed a loan with an obligation to buy a 40 million euros around about 35 million quid plus a sell-on clause as well now the good thing is is that although the information i'm going to go into in a minute is going to show like we're absolutely overpaying um, transfer market rate him at around about 35 million euros as well. So, you know, give or take a few quid, this is actually pretty decent. So he's a six foot two right footed centre back, can play either position in centre back, of course. Now, in looking at his information, he, he is strong and likes to tackle, and he's strong at doing so, and he, as well, he's strong at passing, but he is weak at aerial duels and discipline. You know, he got a he got a red card last season for, for Nice, and um yeah, he's a bit of a hothead, which can be a good thing. But also, when you're centre back in the defence in defence in the Premier League, it's not a good thing at the same point. So you know, we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. Now, to go through his history, he started out as a Toulouse junior before breaking into the seniors team in the 18-19 season. But he was sold um, to Barcelona that January, where he ended up being in the squad that won the title but also only had five appearances for Barcelona, including one Champions League performance. Now, he was then loaned out to Schalke in January 20, where he made 10 appearances for them, but went out on loan again to Benfica in October, but came back just after two appearances in on the 31st of January and was loaned out literally the next day to Nice on the 1st of February. And they then and then they made his move permanent for about an eight and a eight and a half million pound euro deal in July 21, where where in total he's made 136 appearances for them, including two conference league um, qualifier appearances and 10 Coupe de France, which is basically the French Cup appearances as well, for that matter. Now, last season, he made 33 appearances with uh, Nice, including three Coupe, uh, Coupe de France appearances, kept 15 league clean sheets, none in the Cup, unfortunately, and but during the Cup, sorry, during in the league run in La Liga, they, he captained the side twice. So, going from that information... I'm I'm quite I can see why we've gone for him as a replacement of Zuma. You know, yes, replacing a like for like from one point of view, it seems like obviously um, 
he, Zuma's a French centre back. He's a French centre back. He's had two appearances with the French senior team, including the Euro qualifier against Gibraltar, and he's made his debut back in September last year. Now, he has had some injuries, but only minor since 2021 when he had an Achilles um, injury issue that made him mix six games. He's had COVID um, before that as well, for that matter. He did have a really bad stint a few seasons ago, but it does look like he's had um, he's had quite a good recovery from those. Now, in terms of the player itself, I don't know but what he's like, but... As with the preview, with the video that I did about making Zuma's replacement, if you if you watch that video, and some of you have, thank you very much for doing so. Um, you'll notice that the players that I was talking about was in uh, Tadebo's age range. I genuinely had no information about Tadebo when I did that video at all, apart from obviously he was a name being linked with us. But I only knew Tadebo's age when I did the research for this video. So honestly, it's just it's. I'm quite glad that my level of thinking was around about the same level of thinking as 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 um, Steiden and Lopetegui, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But obviously, I left this this player out of that conversation because I knew he was already be listed at. But yeah, I'm very happy with what what we're seeing in terms of this guy. Um, as I say, from an international level, I don't really know him. From a you know. A European football game, I don't really know him either for that matter. Um, but I know a lot of people are looking forward to this move. Um, most, both, mostly, mostly because we're just making so many signings at the moment. And it's good to see that we're getting back to how we were under Pellegrini. That, practic that practical analysis and going straight into getting those deals done. But as I say, you know, if it's, this, is, this is his first... Where is it? It's his first eight-digit move. Yeah, because as I say, most of it's all been one euros, five euros, eight euros here and there. This is a big. This is how much he's progressed with Nice over that 136 appearances over that two, two and a bit years. You know, he's bit um, yeah, two, two and a bit years. It's just it, it just shows the caliber of this kid, and I'm really, really looking forward to seeing what he does. Like with everybody, I'm not going in saying like a lot of people are saying at the minute. You know, we're going to win the league, we're going to win the FA Cup, we're going to win the League Cup, we're going to be in the Champions League next engine. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not getting carried away with it. I'm very, very optimistic about what's what's coming of course but at the same time guys i'm reserving judgment to see what these new signings are like when it comes to a proper um a proper competitive match now the away shirt is coming tomorrow is coming today so i'll probably be doing a video about both shirts tomorrow as well for that matter so keep an eye out for that but thank you very much for your time as I always as always guys put your comments in the comment section below let me know your thinking on it L seriously loads of you are watching and not subscribed so please do hit the subscribe button and like this video as well because the more likes this it has the more con more advertising it gets on youtube and therefore more people watch and therefore more people sign up and therefore more people like etc etc that big whole series cyclical thing and let's beat, let's beat the algorithm guys this, this is an, this is an esoteric channel and let's make esoteric a bit more than the thing that it already is but in the meantime guys have a fantastic weekend i will see hopefully well i will see you tomorrow because i'm going to be shooting the video for the shirts later today so i will see you tomorrow um but also in the meantime guys have a fantastic weekend enjoy yourselves hopefully the weather's going to be a little bit more milder than it has been the last few days um but have a great one and i'll see you soon all the best now take care